Hello everyone, and welcome back to Introduction to Programming Remastered. Before we get underway with the next topic, we want to thank you for the positive responses to our announcement that we would be taking a break from regularly making videos. College work began picking up, so we had to take a step back for a little. As of now, we've finished most of our midterms, so we should be able to get back to regular uploads soon. With that said, let's get into the topic of today's video. So far, We've gone over generally how to write code, and where to write code, but today we will be going over what happens next. Writing code for, say, a database or a video game is nice and all, but it doesn't really matter what your program is doing if you can't tell what's happening. How do you even tell if your program is working or not if it's all running internally? Well, this is where the console comes in. The console is a text interface within the computer that us programmers can use to display output from our programs. If you think back to the previous episode on IDEs, the console is in fact one of the main parts of an IDE, as it lets you see what your code is doing. The main use of the console is to display output text from your program. This is generally done using a print statement. The print statement is a command that does about what you'd expect it to from its name. It prints text to the console. This is the first actual piece of code that we've discussed in this series, and it is both foundational to your understanding of programming, and about as simple as it gets. It's extraordinarily important for many facets of programming, including debugging and ensuring that your program actually achieves its purpose. As such, there is a version of the print statement in just about every general purpose language. The most basic thing that you can make the print statement do is to simply make it output a string. A string is basically some text in quotations. We will be going over strings and other variable types in far more detail in our video on variables, but for now, its intricacies are not too important. So for an example of printing a string in Python, you can see on the screen now, print hello world, which will cause hello world to appear on the console. Pretty neat. But the print statement isn't just for displaying specific messages to yourself. As mentioned before, it's also great for you to see exactly what your computer is doing. Your program could be absolutely flawless, but if you aren't given any information that you can see, it might as well be blank. As a basic example, consider a program that does something simple, like adding 4 plus 3. If I just type 4 plus 3 into my program, the computer will interpret that line and determine 4 plus 3 to be 7. However, as you can see in this example console, nothing shows up. So for you, as the programmer hoping to know the solution to this complex math equation yourself, well, you still won't know. However, if we add a print statement around the equation so that it now reads print 4 plus 3, you can now see that this will cause 7 to appear on the console. In this example, you could probably have determined that answer for yourself without the help of the program. But when it comes to more complex programs, that handle a larger volume of calculations and tasks, it really helps to print things out if you want to know them for yourself. Additionally, even when dealing with a simple program, such as printing 4 plus 3, the print statement can allow you to be sure that your computer is reaching the conclusion that you expect it to. It's also important to note that the print statement can vary depending on what programming language you are working in. The earlier example used the Python print statement, but, for example, in Java, another popular multi-purpose language, there are multiple versions of the print statement depending on whether you would like to create a new line or not. In Python, the print statement always creates a new line unless otherwise specified. For example, print hello, print goodbye in Python would produce this output whereas similar code in Java would produce hello goodbye on one line. 
This just goes to show that you should be aware of the quirks and rules of the language that you are using so that your program has the intended results. Despite these minor differences, you can generally rely on the print statement working in the same overall manner across different programming languages, as it is a foundational statement in programming. So, in essence, print statements print things. Nice. While it really is that simple, it is also extraordinarily important. Its wide functionality makes the print statement, along with the console, a very useful tool for any developer. However, it's important to keep in mind that that is all it really is, a tool for the developer. The console is not really meant to be viewed by the end user of the program, and it tends to be hidden away behind the scenes. Other methods of displaying information, such as showing text or graphics, are much more visually appealing and can be manipulated in many more ways than the console can. Think of it like this. When you're using your phone, you see images and text on your screen. What you don't see is the actual console, as you are not the developer who programmed your phone, and so that isn't really important to you. While you can use the console to give yourself information and to display the output for your program, don't try to implement it into the final product, as it fundamentally just is not designed to be used in that way. Overall, remember to use the console to its fullest extent when programming in order to give yourself all the information that you can need from your program. That does it for this episode. Like I said in the beginning, we should be getting back to regular uploads soon, so expect the next episode in the series to hopefully be out in the next week. Steven is also working on his sorting algorithm series, and a new episode for that should also be out very soon. With that said, thanks for watching.